We are live at Mine Expo 2012. I'm Edgar Sandoval for Cat Center Stage. Today we're below the Cat MineStar System walkway talking cat technology for surface mining operations. And joining me now is Craig Watkins. Craig is a mining technology sales support consultant. We're going to talk cat technology and the capabilities of the Cat MineStar System. Craig, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Edgar. So, Craig, take us inside the CAT MineStar system. What does the software environment look like for a typical surface mining operation? Well, that depends on the configuration of the CAT MineStar system at your site. It can run the gamut from simple to complex, depending on your operational needs. So you'll work with your CAT dealer to tailor your system, but if a site is taking full advantage of the CAT MineStar system, what does that look like big picture? Well, that would be the fleet capability set. That gives an overview of your entire operation at a glance your loader fleet, your shovels, your haulage fleet, uh, the, the, everything. We've also got advanced reporting capabilities so you can monitor production, material movement, the works. Now, does it give you assignment capabilities as well? It does, and it goes further than that. You can actually run what-if scenarios. So let's say you're planning on bringing a shovel down for a major PM, or you need to do some haul road changes. What you can do is run different truck assignment scenarios um, to see, identify bottlenecks, see what you need to do to optimize efficiency, to get the most out of the operation before you ever move a single piece of equipment. Now, let me give you another what-if scenario. What if my operation demands really precise ore control? In that case, you'd use the terrain capability set. Terrain gives shovel and loader operators precise positioning information. This enables them to maintain their benches, as well as gives them information about the ore bodies that they're working in. What this does, Fleet uses this ore body information and makes sure that the truck gets assigned to the appropriate dump location. And I understand terrain also makes drag line operations safer as well. That's correct. The, the in-cab display shows the drag line operator, his, his machine and boom position relative to other equipment in the area, which gives him a, a broader overview of the environment around his machine. And more information means enhanced safety, which is the idea behind the detect capability set. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, detect starts with um, object detection, which is a radar and camera system. The operator can switch camera views manually, or if something is detected, we'll switch the view automatically to show them what's going on around them. Now, I understand that mining machines can also be equipped with a radio and a GNSS device. How does that help? Those devices are part of the proximity awareness package. Proximity awareness gives operators a view of the environment around them, other equipment in their area, and it can also project paths of equipment, so it can alert the operator, operators of potential collisions, which might happen at a blind intersection or if a vehicle is approaching from the blind side of a large haul truck, for example. And that kind of awareness is, is key uh, in the command capability as well, isn't it? That's correct. So for autonomous truck operations, we would leverage the command for hauling. Command builds on those detect capabilities, and then the trucks also have onboard sensing and intelligence systems. The office also provides feedback about locations of other equipment, haul road conditions, and more. Now, with no operator on board to hear or feel performance problems, how do you monitor mechanical health of autonomous equipment? The health capability set provides continuous monitoring of, of the equipment. So if something is happening on the truck, it'll alert maintenance personnel when it's time to bring the truck in. We also monitor almost every other piece of equipment on site, whether it's manned or autonomous. Cat Mine Star System can certainly do some amazing things for just about any operation. It sure can. It, it can be configured to be as simple or as advanced as your operation needs it to be, and you can grow it if you need to as well. All right, Craig, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. If you want to learn more about the CAT MindStar system, stop by and talk with one of the show workers, or go to one of the CAT Touchpoint interactive displays located in the surface and underground areas. And be sure to check out mining.cat.com for more information on all the CAT equipment here at Mine Expo 2012. For CAT Center Stage, I'm Edgar Sandoval.